Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This one's going up on a Monday. So if you had a good weekend, we got some big videos and live streams hitting you all week long, all culminating to this Saturday. We're going to have the very first Red Dead Online Horse Show. That's going to be on both consoles. So make sure to sub if you are new and hit the notification button so that way you can take part. So here in Armadillo, there's a zombie apocalypse hitting the game. You may not have noticed... But there's an evolution. At first, the body seemed pretty normal. Then a snowstorm hit Red Dead Online. When that happened, what the heck? Apparently, the bodies completely disappeared. Man, this game is pretty glitchy right now. So now that the bodies are back, it seems like they have evolved. We're getting closer and closer to the undead nightmare in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. I'm going to show you some evidence. Unfortunately, it looks like the bodies are MIA. I was just here before the video started. And they were there, and now apparently they have disappeared. We're going to take a few looks at this, but first I'm going to show you the original corpses. Or I guess you could say soon-to-be zombies here in Armadillo and what they look like now. Now it looks like they are blue, and the crazy part is they are starting to get zombified body features like claws. you got to see this, guys. Thanks again for checking out today's episode. Be sure to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel, and we'll have a live stream for you tonight. So I hope to see you all there. With that said, I'm going to meet you right back here so we can see some zombies and then go back into the past to see what they used to look like. I reloaded the game and sure enough, three bodies did appear. Now what originally brought us to these bodies was the female corpses had glowing green eyes. So Rockstar changed the bodies from looking normal, then added the green glowing eyes, the same color as the Jade Mask. That is the mask that causes the Undead Nightmare in the original Red Dead Redemption. But if you look at it now, there is no more glowing eyes. Now I know in this case, her eyes seem to be mostly closed, but you can kind of see in there. Seems like they're pearly white. Kind of reminds me of one of the horror movies from back in the 80s and 90s. And if you look at this guy, you know, he seems to be somewhat normal. But the third body is turning blue. That definitely was not the case before. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the original bodies here in Armadillo with the green eyes. And then we'll come back, we'll look at several different examples of the current bodies that you can find in Armadillo where even the hands seem to be gaining claws. You may not see anything. I mean, we've got some dead dude right here. Looks to be just a normal dead guy. I think there was another one nearby as well. But if you look at the female characters, the female dead corpses, take a look at the eyes, guys. This is not a glitch you see that see how the eyes are green hopefully now you can start to see the evolution of the bodies with green eyes of course at first it was a plague that hit armadillo so we definitely took interest in that something we never heard from in red dead redemption 1 a game that takes place after red dead redemption 2 now the green eyes are gone the blizzard took the bodies completely away rockstar is actively changing them now that they are back it seems to be more proof that we could have an Undead Nightmare 2. We're back here in real time. Let's take a look at a couple separate lobbies. And also I want to point out that it seems like the bodies spawn more at night. If you come here to Armadillo during the day, sometimes there's no dead bodies, but here at night, they're lying all over the place. The female does not have the green eyes. She looks mostly normal. In fact, look at that. Her eyes still might be glowing a little bit, but if you look at her arm, it looks like it's kind of turning blue, almost like the flesh is getting a different consistency and then this guy has that pale color skin you can see the evolution to this one with the bluish tint and he's got hands that definitely do not look right is this the same character it looks pretty close maybe they both just have a big beard or whatever but they look straight out of a resident evil game it's like they should be attacking us with a chainsaw or something there's a couple more bodies up here yeah, this one does not have the blue skin. Maybe the blue skin dudes are a little bit closer. Wait a minute, look at this chick. Whoa, she looks really messed up. Definitely looking blue. How's your hand looking, lady? Yeah, it's got that reptilian look to it. Let me know if you guys have noticed this in the past, but I think that they're going to start to get more and more zombie-like as we get closer to October. My official prediction is Undead Nightmare 2 will happen in Red Dead Online. And it's probably going to happen around October. Now, I know a lot of people hear that and they say, geez, man, we want a single player DLC. That's 
where the Undead Nightmare should be. But we all know GTA has gone towards strictly online, and I expect the same thing to happen to Red Dead. Rockstar has even told us that, and at least this is a big clue that we're going to get a massive Undead Nightmare DLC. That's what it looks like to me. And once again, another guy that is extremely blue, looks like a damn alien. There has to be a reason why Rockstar put the Jade Mask at the San Denis fence. This is the only place you can find it. And this mask is the entire reason for the Undead Nightmare outbreak from Red Dead Redemption 1. Not only can you find the Jade Mask itself, but you can constantly hear people talking about the Jade Mask and the myth. One more look at the bodies. Looks like we have a female here. Definitely no green eyes. And I have to leave you guys off with a clip from the Red Dead Redemption 1 Undead Nightmare and show you how the Jade Mask is extremely important. They just so happen to have that same green color in the female corpse's eyes. So I think that Jade Mask will have importance here in Red Dead Redemption Online. Hopefully sometime soon. What is up with this guy's skin? Okay, I don't know if that's glitched out or he's got scales. Are they reptilians? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Check out this clip. Hit me up anytime on Twitter at TrippyComs. And definitely hit the like button. That really helps out. Much love to the entire Trippy fam. I hope to see y'all at the live stream later on tonight. Stay tuned, my friends, but more importantly, as always, make sure to stay trippy. The bad weather? Now this. What's wrong with people? It's true. Look in that chest. He has a sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. Where did you say the crypt was? Near the bullfighting ring, behind the via. Return the mask. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. Ayotioto. A horse is waiting for you. You should return home. <laughs>